Okay, this is George here. I want to help you to schedule people within Bethel Community for your different hospitality groups. So once you've logged into Bethel Community, uh, you're going to need to go to your groups. So you can click on the groups tab in Bethel Community and then type in something um, that's part of your team name. So I'm going to be looking for welcome team. So I'm going to type in welcome and you'll see you have your three different teams. I made a different group for each of the t service times that we have on a Sunday to help you be able to communicate independently for each of those people. And also because some of the teams have different people scheduling for each of the services. And as we'll see in a moment, uh, that's because that's the person that uh, is gonna receive the notifications. So let's go welcome team 11. Once we open up welcome team 11, you see here some information about the group. Um, and for our purposes today, we're gonna be talking about positions and schedules. So the position that I've created here is Outdoor Host, 11 a.m. And they report to Lisa Ferrante, and I've not put a limit on the number of people that can be in that position. Once the position has been created, then you can create a schedule. I've already created a schedule, and I'll give a, do a different video when we get closer to quarter three, but right now I just wanna give you a head start on this. Schedule is for welcome team, 11 a.m., quarter two. And this is a schedule that you're going to use to schedule the people for the next quarter. So let's click on that. And then you can see that each of the weeks are here. An important thing to re realize here is that Bethel Community, uh, these dates do, are not Sunday through Saturday. And so I wouldn't be concerned about that at this point. Because when we go to the next screen, you'll see that it actually says the, um, the, the Sunday that we're talking about. So you can assign volunteers to that first quarter. By clicking assign volunteers and then it brings up all of these um, Sundays if you wanted to see more of these Sundays in one screen you could click view more weeks and you could select some of these other weeks or you can select less weeks if you want so that you're only looking at a few I've selected all the weeks and that way you can schedule all of them at one time so here is week two and this is Sunday April 15th and when I'm recording this, uh, this is the upcoming Sunday. And you're going to click Add Volunteers. The people who have said they're available on this particular week at this particular time um, are listed. And so for your team, you can click these people. For example, I know that Ed and Cheryl are there almost every week. And I'm pretty sure Megan's there every week. And I think the others are, uh, like Lisa, of course, are maybe every other. But I'm going to click um, Save, and you'll see that they've been added there. Look at the shading, though. See how it's shaded gray? That's because it's a new request. Uh, the other options that will be listed as a color is they've accepted it, and they've declined, or that they've received it, but we're waiting to hear back. And that's because we haven't sent the request. See up here in the right corner, Send Requests. And then you can go to the next week, and then you'll notice there's different people here, like Lisa Tincati wasn't on the other one. Um, but she's on this one because her preference is this particular week. And so again, we'll probably have, you know, Lisa and Lisa this week. Um, I imagine Morgan will be there and Ed and Cheryl and Megan. And you click save. And so they're listed there. So you can continue to do that with each of these and go forward throughout the weeks here. And once you've filled in all of these weeks, you would click send requests. Sending requests are going to um, give you the option to send just to those who you've newly added. Um, so you could click this right now since we have just added these people, they'd be new. Um, sending pending requests are if you've already sent a request and you want to remind people because they haven't responded, you could click that as well. And uh, Or if you uh, didn't want to send any new ones, you could of course click that as well. And then here is where you could say, I want to open this up for others to sign up. I'm going to show you that in just a second. Open unassigned positions for volunteers to sign up. Normally, we wouldn't do that because you've recruited specific people um, to serve. And, uh, and so you, you want to assign them unless you have to. But if we click that, um, I'll show you what happens here. Uh, but we're not going to send it because I'm doing a training. But um, that's how you would schedule people. And then you would see them. And of course, on your lead app, this would show up too. You could see the schedules. And for the team that you lead, 
you'll notice the welcome team um, 11 a.m. quarter two is a schedule and you would see who is scheduled for particular week. So give that a try and um, communicate with your team that you're experimenting and you would appreciate them trying it out. All right. Thanks.